Uh, hi, let's continue um, our calculations on the stock dividend. Uh, so, step 2, uh, previously you already calculate how to calculate the new premium. Kenapa kita calculate this one? Because we are going to show the new effects on the balance sheets after the stock dividend had been uh, given out to the shareholders. Uh, so, this is the, the new premium market price minus the par value times the number of stock dividends. Calculate this one first and then plus the old premium. So, you will get 13 million. So, step number 3 is calculate the new retained earnings. So, kita kena kira juga jumlah retained earnings yang baru. Biasanya, uh, what happens uh, dalam stock dividend, retained earnings akan makin berkurangan. Okay. So, kita kena cari dulu uh, berapakah jumlah reduction ataupun jumlah pengurangan yang berlaku di dalam retained earnings. RE over here is referring to retained earnings. So, reduction in retained earnings are market price you times by the number of the stock dividend. So, our number of stock dividend previously adalah 500,000. So, just... Uh, Simply uh, times 8 ringgit and then times 500,000. So, kita times uh, dan darab kedua-duanya. Okay, so uh, how much do we get? Okay, yes, RM 4 million. Okay, so you will get RM 4 million. So, this is not the old premium. Yeah? Ini hanyalah uh, pengurangan ataupun jumlah uh, 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 berapa uh, decrement yang berlaku terhadap retain earnings iaitu berkurang sebanyak 4 million. Okay. Kalau kita perhatikan jumlah pengurangan ini adalah sama banyak dengan uh, berapa jumlah share dividends uh, yang dikeluarkan iaitu 500,000 unit bila kita darab dengan market price dia. So, kita dapat 4 million. So, ini adalah jumlah yang kita akan tolak daripada retain earnings. Okay. So, your new retain earnings adalah old premium tolak reduction in retain earnings tadi. So, our old premium in the questions already stated sebanyak 20 million. Okay. Dan kita akan tolak dengan uh, the 4 million uh, reduction tadi so you will get new retain earnings sebanyak 16 million ringgit okay 16 juta so we already obtained all the information so semua ni kita akan guna dan masukkan dalam balance sheet yang bar baru so this is Katakanlah, uh, this is our new uh, balance sheets. Okay, ini new, our new balance sheet selepas stock dividend dikeluarkan. Okay, so berapa jumlah total book value kat sini? So, we already calculate earlier. Our new total book value is RM6 me, 6 million. Okay, so over here, kita akan letak sebanyak 6 million. Saya ringkaskan eh. Right, uh, ataupun you boleh put, uh, kalau kita tak letak RM00 ni, uh, you boleh letak exact figure seperti this one. Okay, since kita letak dekat atas tu sebagai ringkasan RM000, so dekat sini kita akan letak tiga angka sahaja macam ni. Okay, it's referring to the 6 me, 6 million tadi. Okay. So, premium, the new premium adalah 13, new premium adalah 13 uh, uh, million, 13. So, retain earning yang kita dah kira tadi yang baru adalah sebanyak 16 ju juta. Okay, kenapa berkurang? Of course, bila kita isu stock dividend, um, so, kita ada uh, cost yang uh, uh, kita akan ingkat dekat situ dan our retain earnings juga akan semakin berkurangan. Okay, so our retain earnings uh, normally akan seperti yang saya mention earlier, uh, transfer to 
paid in capital. So, menjadi paid in capital dan uh, jumlah retain earning akan kurang. So, jumlah kos kita akan bertambah lah. So, our paid in capital over here will increase normally. But uh, in this one, tidak ada uh, paid in capital. So, kita boleh totalkan terus 6 million tambah 13 million tambah 16 million. So, you will get 35 uh, million. Dan perhatikan jumlah total equity untuk new balance sheet untuk stock dividend ini mesti sama dengan balance sheet yang lah lama. So, macam mana you adjust kali pun, must make sure your total net worth atau total equities ni sah sama as in the previous uh, balance balance sheet. Pastikan ianya sama. Okay. So, kalau kita dapat in the end tak sama, mungkin something wrong with your calculation. So, make sure uh, your new balance sheet totalnya tetap sama walaupun Stock dividend telah diisu sebab yang berubah adalah this part only which is the total book value, total premium, total retain earnings but the equities remain the, the same, sama sahaja. Yeah? Okay, so that is uh, all about our calculation for stocks di stock dividend. So in the next video, video I will explain about valuation on the stock split. Thank you.